Hugh, how does it feel to be in Santa Barbara receiving the Kirk Douglas Award for Excellence in Film? It is surreal uh, to be receiving the award, particularly as Deb and I had morning tea with Kirk and Anne this morning. Uh, he's about to turn 102. He's still sparkling with wit, and both of them were funny and beautiful. And and it's certainly I've, I always feel like I'm a work in progress. But to stop for a second, to have the opportunity to thank the people who have helped me get here is is an opportunity I'm so grateful We're in for. It. Really. We're in it. Well, he has said, and I quote: "Hugh is an excep exceptional talent, a stage and screen, and one of the nicest people in the business." Uh, so he must have had a good time with you this morning. He's been speaking with my publicist, I think. Nah. <laughs> We had a great time together and we, we had dinner, he came and it's f quite funny, he came, to, I never see anybody after stage, when I'm on stage I never go out and somehow my, someone who works with me heard that Kirk Douglas and his wife Anne were coming and so got the message to them that, oh sorry Mr Jackman's not available. Kirk was about 94 years of age at the time when I ha found out about this, I said, I'm going out. No, no, no. It's Kirk you don't Douglas. say no to Kirk Douglas. He's 94. I think I can muster up the energy and we had the best time. Well, from Wolverine to P.T. Barnum to Gary Hart, what, what draws you to a certain role? You've played so many. That's universes. a bad angle. <laughs> I really, uh, I love learning new things about myself, about the world, about people. I love playing different characters for that reason. I like to be challenged and and asked to do things that make me nervous and I'm not sure if I can pull off and then I do my best to work with people who are way better than me who can help me get there and so that's sort of been my basic recipe. Um, I was just going to say you move seamlessly from stage to screen. How does it feel incorporating your immense vocals into your characters? Uh, you know it, it doesn't feel as seamless as it might look. I, I'm really... It looks I, but, seamless. Thank you. But I, I came from the theatre originally uh, and have been working in film now. I am now equally at home in both. It's taken me a while to get there, but I, I love both, and I, I find one makes the other sharper, and, and I'm just unbelievably lucky to have the career I do where I get to be able to do both. Well, actor, musician, philanthropist, family man, kids, how do you make it all work? The two amazing careers <laughs> together. Da, 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 da. We juggle and we always try to remember what's most important, you know, and for us that's family and I can tell you 100% there's no way I'd be standing here today getting this award if it wasn't for the woman standing on my left here. Uh, we've been together for 24 years now and uh, we share everything together and uh, she always thought this was possible, I didn't and uh, without her belief I'd never be here. And I'm very proud of him being here tonight, being honoured for an enormous body of work that he's done. <laughs> okay, I have a really, really serious question though. Oh, okay. Who would you rather fight? Ryan Reynolds or John Krasinski? <laughs> Ryan. Who would I rather fight? Ryan Reynolds You've already or John started Krasinski? fighting Ryan. Yeah, you know, Ryan and I, we took it out a lot. I, I have this With funny words. feeling that John Krasinski is secretly like a complete badass and would take both of Ryan and myself down. We pretend with the superhero thing, but I don't know, the whole Jack Ryan of it all, I think. Well, we watch all out. think you could take them both at the same time. Thanks. Thank you. Enjoy tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you.